more about that on Saturday's video but I wanted to get a cooking video out for you guys today Isaac is home from college for the weekend and he has requested his favorite casserole which is a chicken and wild rice casserole so um, and I'm gonna have a, a variation of this recipe in my cookbook the one I'm putting in my cookbook is my sister's recipe Today's, I'm using um, Paula Dean's recipe, and that's the one that Isaac, um, it is kind of our go-to, um, but my sister's, I have to say, is probably the best. But anyway, so we're making, hold that thought, tea was boiling, hold that thought. Okay, so stay tuned. We're going to make chicken and wild rice casserole Isaac's favorite. So before we get into the casserole, I wanted to share with you a couple of gifts I've gotten that I don't normally show things. So if, if you have sent me something and I haven't shown it, please know that I, I don't normally do this, but this was so cute. <laughs> and and the, the thought behind it was so cute. Um, and I got these pretty much the same time. So um, let me show you what it is. It's an ornament, but it's it's a lunchbox, the the Peanuts Gang lunchbox. Um, we have Charlie Brown on this side. It comes with a thermos, and um, I'm going to explain the reason behind all this. And then inside here we have, um, <clears throat> I think that may be Linus. And they're all kind of in their bathing suits, which is so cute. And here's Lucy. <laughs> so um, the the note that came with this was so sweet. Um, they had watched my video of um, when I made my party mix, and the timing system I use because you have to stir the party mix um, every 15 minutes. So I never could keep up with where I was at. Excuse me. And so, um, I would lay out a Splenda packet. Well, now I get to lay out a Peanuts Gang um, person and keep up with the time that way. Um, and they were dressed in their bathing suits because I always make party mix on our way to the beach. Okay, guys, sorry if I cut the camera off without saying anything. It's probably because I'm having a coughing fit. We've all had um, a little bit of a chest cold. And ever since I was a child, my cough lingers and everybody else can shake it like that. I can't. But nothing to worry about. I am totally fine. You know what I mean? Totally fine. Um, so, anyway, I can keep up with the time with those. Uh, little things and they are dressed like they're going to the beach because I always make trash when we go to the beach and I make it at Christmas so anyway I thought that was so sweet now let me show you another thing that came in the mail as well okay y'all I wanted to share this with you um, and just as we were starting to open it I realized what it was so I stopped and I grabbed the camera I don't normally post things but the um, a lady saw on our old, video. old videos that I have some blue plates and I love blue things and I have some flow blue back there and um, so she 
had some things that she wanted to give us. So we are kind of unboxing them right now. Does somebody want to hold the camera? We stopped as soon as we got to this. I was like, oh, I gotta get the camera. Oh, and what she doesn't know is I used to collect cups and saucers and all that good stuff. Little known fact about me is I used to want to have a tea room. Look. I love blue stuff. My mama loves blue stuff and she's shared that love with me. So we have four <coughs> beautiful little cups. All right. I'm so excited. So we'll have to make room on my counter in there. I may need a... Huh? Look. Oh my goodness, Daddy, look. My mama actually... Did... Explain who Daddy is. Oh, yeah, Daddy's Bryant. That's what we call him. Um, the flow blue that I have, my sweet mama gave that, not to me, she didn't give it to me, she gave it to Bryant. That one plate that's flow blue, oh, this is beautiful. Oh, that is gorgeous. And thank you so very much. We will treasure this for ever, ever. And there's a sweet note in here. I'll read that later off camera. But y'all, how sweet. How sweet. Thank you, Miss Ann. We will cherish this blue collection and we'll add it to my um, counter in there. And we will cherish it forever. Thank you so much. I had filmed that a little bit earlier. And um, so... But like I said, I normally don't share things like that, but um, they came today. I haven't filmed in a while. I had the camera out, so it got filmed today. Um, so let's get started on the chicken casserole. You've seen some of my prep work at the beginning of the video already. And um, so we're just gonna pick up where we're at at the moment and head on. So you're probably asking, why am I not, why am I not making my sisters if my sisters is one going into the cookbook? This one is just a little bit less time consuming, but my sisters is, <laughs> it's the bomb.com. This one is, is not quite as labor intensive. It's pretty much a dump and go. So the first thing we're going to start with is a box of um, what used to be Uncle Ben's fried uh, long grain rice. I probably still accidentally call it that, but it's Ben's original long grain and wild rice. Uh, we're going to put that in. Be sure to get yourself a big bowl to prepare this in. Um, I did let my rice go a little too long. <laughs> uh, I actually forgot about it. So I'm going to have to do some scrubbing on that pot. Okay, so to our wild rice, we're gonna add, this is about one medium onion that I've chopped up. I'm gonna add that in there. Let me grab a spatula. <clears throat> we're gonna add in a can of Uh, any kind of cream soup. Um, this is cream of mushroom because that's just the only thing I had. You could use cream of celery, cream of chicken, you know, whatever your favorite cream soup is or whatever you have on hand. A can of green beans that I've drained. All right. Let me give this a stir. I kind of like to stir things as we go. Uh, Paula's recipe actually calls for two cans of green beans. I think that's too many. Um, I just used one. 
I'm going to add in a jar of pimentos. I'm adding juice and all. I may have to get somebody to open this. Hang on, let me show you a trick to open things. So here's the trick. Get you a butter knife. I was laying on the counter. And put it in here and then just kind of twist it. Put it up underneath the lid and give it a little twist. And do this in several places and you'll hear something pop. And once you hear that pop, watch, look. Ta-da! All right. Now I add the juice. You're probably supposed to drain it, but I think the pimentos is the secret ingredient to this recipe. So, um, all right, let's add in some mayonnaise. We're gonna add in a cup of mayonnaise. And I'm gonna finish this jar out. And that's probably a fourth of a cup. And I'm finishing out of there. And I've opened another one. So another fourth of a cup, half, and a whole. We're gonna stop there and that's, I'm just eyeballing that. Um, oh, y'all, I'm spilling it, did you see that? That's why I say get you a big bowl to stir this up in. All right, let's add some chicken. I have about four cups of shredded chicken here. Now, you can use the hand mixer to shred your chicken, but I like big chunks of chicken in this casserole. Certain things I like it shredded fine, other things I want it thicker. So I always, when I want it thicker, I shred it with my fork, my fingers or the fork. So I'm gonna start with probably putting two cups in. I'm probably gonna end up using it all just because that's who I am. And what I don't use, you know, I will use. <laughs> I'll make me a quesadilla or something with. All right. I'm going to put just a little bit more. I'll save me enough for one quesadilla. <laughs> All right. Now we're going to add in, let's add in a little salt and pepper now. Just a little, because I seasoned the chicken as it cooked. And, um, we're gonna add some cheese, so that will give it some saltiness. All right. Slide those things aside and give it a stir. Now you can by all means add in another can of green beans if you want it. I don't think it's needed or necessary. We're gonna add a little more than half a cup of cheese because I'm going to put some more on the top. All right. Now what I'll serve with this is um, I'm going to do some mashed potatoes and I'm going to do some broccoli and so a cheese sauce to go with the broccoli. All right, let me grab a casserole dish and um, spray it. And we'll pour this up into it. And our casserole will be ready to go in the oven. Okay, guys, we're gonna put this in our greased casserole dish. Now, by all means, I'm losing my grip. I'm trying to hold it so y'all can see. <laughs> And I'm losing my grip. Um, on the onions, if like on certain casseroles, um, I'll saute the onions up. Um, and sometimes I do with this and sometimes I don't. I cut my onions really fine today. They were really small. I chopped them small. And so I probably will not, uh, well obviously, 
I won't um, saute them, but it's totally fine. If you're worried about finding a crunch of an onion, then you by all means saute them up ahead of time. Okay, so this is probably gonna go in a 350 degree oven for about 25 to 30 minutes, but after about 20 minutes, I'm gonna add some extra cheese to the top and layer it. But as usual, I've done this early and ahead of time, so I'm not ready to bake it yet, um, but we will be shortly. So there is this beautiful casserole. I'm gonna wash my hands up, clean my bowls, start peeling some potatoes, and kind of getting things ready to just turn on when it's time for supper. Okay guys, here it is, out of the oven. I'll scoop us up some and we'll try in just a minute. Okay y'all, we're ready to try it. The kids are here. Look at that cheese. Judah's actually in there setting the table for me. And we're gonna give this a try. Do you want me to try it first? You go girl. There you go. It's good and hot, so he's gonna laugh at me burning my mouth. That's right. See that pimento? Yeah. That's to me is what makes this whole casserole. Mmm. That is so good. Ooey gooey, cheesy vegetables. It's just flavor. Everything's there. It's right there. Look at it. It is so good. Now you want to try it? Yep. All right, guys, look, it's Valentine's Day weekend. Look, look what, what he got me. Look what I went and got in the farming past this way. Y'all disregard all the dishes. That's what happens when you cook a good meal. All right, here we go. She's made this for us before, right, sweetheart? Oh, yeah, this is a staple. Yeah, really good, rich. This is. It is rich, but a good kind of rich. <laughs> Just full of, full of flavor. Really, really delicious. What else? So good. It? Wild rice, uh -huh. chicken, uh -huh. cheese, uh -huh. pimentos, uh -huh. onions, uh -huh. green peppers. No. Nope. Green mushroom. beans. Green beans. And cream of mushroom. And cream, cream of mushroom. There you go. This got to make right here. This is simple, easy, delicious. How long did it bake for? About 25 minutes. On what temperature? 350. Okay. And, and I at the last minute, I put the cheese on the top. And you boiled your chicken first? Yes. Yep. <laughs> This right here will make a dog break his chain. I'm telling you, good. good, good. Well, if y'all can hear the, y'all can hear the kiddos in the background. They are ready to eat. So I'm gonna get the casserole on the table, and we'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching the Farm and Pastor's Wife. Remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can you fry can fry anything. anything. Bye y'all.